What's up everyone, Jake here from Jake's Aviation, back with another model unboxing and review video. This time it's of the Qatar Cargo 777 Freighter in the Move by People livery by Phoenix Models. Another excited model, or another model that I'm excited to have in the collection is my first Qatar Airways Cargo uh, model. Unfortunately, I haven't got a plain livery one, um, just uh, this is the one I could get and decided to pick it up before. Um, there was an opportunity to get a Qatar cargo aircraft, though something tells me NG is going to be releasing uh, some of them in the near future, but um, whether I end up getting a plane livery or not, I'm not sure. Anyways, really excited to have this. Uh, it's by Phoenix Models, so here's the box. Pretty nice box art. Very nice, looking really good. Um, not sure too much of what the uh, livery signifies. Moved by people, which I guess is just kind of representing... Um, you know how the company has grown and uh, relies heavily on uh, exceptional people. Uh, that could be, but uh, yeah, registration Alpha Seven Bravo Foxtrot Golf BFG. And uh, yeah, let's open her up. It's Phoenix Moles. It's not a bad. Uh, their moles, the Triple Seven. Is uh, pretty good. NG's uh, new one is also really good, but uh, the small is not bad. Some good packaging right here. A nice um, foam, and then the little plastic. Very, so very nice there. From what I can tell, a very nice model. Wow, looks great. All right. Oops, that is not the right way. There we go. All right. So here we have the model, guys. Looking really nice. Zoom in there. There you go. Take a look at that. Very, very nice. We'll zoom in here. Camera a little bit more. There we go. All right. So there's uh, some writing right under there. I guess that's the name of the aircraft right under the cockpit windows, which is pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Gear doors, I think they're a little big. Um, it has Fox Shark Golf on it. The main door there, so that's only, pretty much the only door other than the main deck cargo door on this aircraft. Uh, moving along, big Kotar cargo titles. G90s, looking very, very nice. They are not uh, solid, they're hollow, and you can see they could probably use some more detail, some more fan blades in there, but overall, not bad. Good shape of the engine and everything. Wings looking very nice. Um, oh, that's uh, that's not good. Hold up. Look at that. That's kind of like bent down almost there. That's weird. This side is just fine, but that is kind of bent down. There's some uh, damage right there. It's like scuffed up and it's like bent. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. That's not good. Yeah, it's kind of bent down. You can see that. That looks really weird. I'm not sure what happened there. If that was a packaging uh, issue or what, but oh well. It's not super noticeable. Might mean I might replace the smaller one or something. But anyway, got the antennas and stuff. Then you got this beautiful livery at the back here, moved by people, all the various faces and whatnot, people laughing, smiling, etc. Um, which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Um, Alpha Seven Bravo Foxtrot Golf and the Qatar flag there, and then the um, Tori, the famous Qatari Rays logo right at the tail there. And then on this side, it's the same thing. The low, or well, actually, the main upper deck corridor is right here. Um, it's right in this area right here with that face there. Um, and then on this side, we have the lower deck corridors and stuff. There's a good Wi Fi. Sorry, not Wi-Fi, but good antennas and stuff. Top and bottom, the little red one on the bottom is pretty nice. And the forward corridor there. Very weird, though, that that wing, kind of sad that that wing there is a little bit um, bent. It's really odd. Um, but overall, the model is pretty nice. The delivery is nice and good detail. And then, obviously, we'll zoom out here. So, oh, wrong way. It's got the guitar underbelly. And other details. I've um, got the registration and the wing. Very nice. 
Just the, that wing looks kind of weird, which is slightly unfortunate. But overall, it's a nice model. Uh, good mold and everything. Um, so yeah, it's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more model unboxing and review videos, as well as other content. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.